engineers have to take like an intro orientation course and my TA was a textile engineer and she's always like super pumped to just like talk about what she's doing. I wanted to see if I could balance out like my need for like a, a creative outlet as well as like my like love for science and math. The way she explained it to me like we met up in Tally and it kind of just worked out perfectly in my brain I was like yeah this is something I want to do. The shorts are really easy to move around in. It allows for a lot of flexibility. Same goes for the shirts. The flexibility in a large extent in our clothing comes from the fabric structure. So most of the garments we wear are made of knit fabrics when they're close to the body. Being a goalkeeper, I come in contact with a lot of people. So a lot of my clothes, like I want it to be able to protect me as opposed to just ripping on impact. Even my practice jersey over there and these are like super tear resistant. There's fiber types such as um, spandex, elastane, that have more inherent elastic properties. But if you add it to a knitwear, you further improve the movement and elasticity while still making them quite strong. So you have a core of those elastic fibers, then the stronger, more durable fibers around it. There is a surface treatment you can do to increase the grip of gloves to make sure you have a full, um, a, a full grip on it. Because the downside of a glove is that the tactile interaction you have with your bare hands to really feel the ball, you lose that as soon as you start adding padding, which is impact protection on the glove. You know, I'm not gonna be 20 forever, so I know there, may be, there will be an end in sight when it comes to sports, but I wanna still contribute to it in some fashion. And with textile engineering, like I can play a part in, you know, helping athletes like be more comfortable like in the uniforms that they wear.